Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Jacob Zimmerman came up with for how Java 8 streams work. Jacob agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. Jacob discusses the stream interface and proposes an implementation for that interface. The stream interface does exist in Java 8. Jacob gives us three method signatures here, map, filter, and reduce. Map identifies a function that we wish to apply to each member of the stream. For example, an uppercase translation of string. Filter allows us to specify a predicate to indicate which members of the stream we wish to include in the output. And then reduce will apply an operation to the stream, producing one single result. Jacob proposes implementation of the default methods. Here he presents his implementation of map and filter. Later, he has the reduce. The methods that have been presented by Jacob are very helpful in processing streams. In order to demonstrate the usefulness of the methods which Jacob has written about in his blog, I have created a Java program on my computer. I create an array list of first names, and then I'm going to process this list in various ways. First of all, I will print out each element in the array list. I use the for each, which is available in the array list. Next, I will sort the names. I apply the sorted method against the stream. The stream function permits me to take the array list and convert it to a string. Next, I will illustrate use of the filter. I have a method called getPersons. We can pass a predicate to getPersons. That predicate will be provided to the filter method. I will try various scenarios here. I will select persons whose name starts with an uppercase R. I will select persons whose name ends with a lowercase n. Next, I will illustrate the use of the map. The map will apply a function to each of the members in the array list. In this case, I will convert the name to uppercase. Finally, I illustrate the use of reduce. Reduce will produce one result. In this case, it will be all of the names concatenated together with a colon in between each name. Now, let's test the code. And we see the names have been sorted correctly. Carmen, Morris, Regina, Roger, Stanton, Stephen. And then we have the hits on the names that begin with a capital R. We also have names that end with a lowercase n. We uppercase the names by applying the uppercase using the map function. And then finally, the reduce is exemplified. We see one string, a concatenation of all of the array list items, each name separated with a semicolon. Thanks again to Jacob for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to Java programming.